how to live the right life. It starts with number one. You got to have the right atmosphere. Then I want you to see something else. You've got to have the right energy source. If you're fighting the flesh issues that you're dealing with, with the flesh, you're just fighting against yourself. When, when you've got uh, problems and you've got challenges and you've got addictions and you're trying to fight the flesh with the flesh, you're going to lose because the flesh is the flesh. We don't, we don't fight in the flesh. We have to have a supernatural energy source. And the supernatural energy source of the believer is the power of the Holy Spirit. That's why the Bible talks about praying in an unknown tongue. When you pray in the Spirit, when you pray in the language that God gives, and before you get dismiss me and before you say, I don't believe in that stuff, then you don't believe in part of the Bible. Because the Bible said when we speak in 1 Corinthians 14, when we speak in an unknown tongue, we speak not unto men, but unto God. We bypass the natural mind. We bypass your opinion, anybody else's opinion. And when you pray in the Spirit, you go to God. The Apostle Paul said, I thank God I speak in tongues more than you all. Yet when I do it, I don't get up in an audience and I don't confuse people. But in my prayer life, the Apostle Paul said, I pray in the Spirit. I pray Pray in an unknown tongue. He said, don't forbid speaking in tongues. He said that in 1 Corinthians 14. But religion will say you can't have that. Oh, it was in the upper room. It happened in Acts chapter 2. It happened in Acts chapter 19. It ha happened in Acts chapter 10. It's talked about in 1 Corinthians 14. But you can't have that now. But that's religion. I'd rather believe what God says. And when you pray in the Holy Spirit, when you pray in that unknown tongue, listen to me, it's the believer's energy source. Suddenly, the Bible put it like this, and Isaiah with stammering lips and an unknown tongue, will I speak to my people? Listen to this. And he said, it'll be a refreshing. It'll be a refreshing. It's an energy source. It's where you get your strength from. I want you to understand that the Holy Spirit not only is a person, but he has a mind to think and he has a mouth to speak. And Romans 8 said, when you don't know how to pray the Spirit himself wants to pray through you and he wants to pray the perfect will of God if you pray in the perfect will of God we know he hears us how do you do that you get baptized in the Holy Spirit you get filled with the Holy Spirit America needs to be filled with the Holy Spirit it make you love everybody it wouldn't be any race issues if we'll get full of the Holy Spirit we'll love one another we'll be for one another We'll encourage one another. There's too much hate. There's too much flesh. We need the power of the Holy Spirit back in our lives again. He's our energy source. But we are not ashamed of the power of the Holy Spirit. It'll change your life. It'll make a weak man strong. It'll make a person who's bound and addicted free. It'll cause you to love God with passion and with fire. And you don't have to just grow cold after you get saved. Be filled with the Spirit. Pray in the Spirit and you'll have your energy source. Turn to somebody and say, the Holy Ghost is my right source of energy. I'm trying to stay calm this morning, but I'm preaching the truth. Growing colder and colder and sitting there looking at me, I don't believe it. That's why you're growing colder and colder. And some of you who claim to have it, how long has it been since you prayed? I'm telling you today that as a pastor and as a preacher, I pray in the Spirit every day of my life. It's my secret source. It's the source of energy and power for the believer. The right atmosphere is praise. The right energy force for the believer is praying in the Spirit, going back and reconnecting to the power of the Holy Spirit.